just look like dead. Yeah. Yeah? So this is gonna be a little bit of a change. I switched, I'm filming an S-log. I figured I'd try something new. I know it's an odd time to try something new, halfway through the middle of a vlog. You know what I'm interested to see? My tire was making like this weird noise and I'm pretty sure it was a leaf that stuck in my tire. So I'm gonna reverse and pull forward and see, ah, and see if I actually got it. You're just gonna <laughs> stuck it <laughs> in between the bread. Oh, So I made it back home, took Tyson for a walk. He seemed to enjoy it, but he seemed to enjoy the fact that he can just sit on the couch and nibble on his bone. Right, I'm off to meet Pepper. I wanted to talk on YouTube, podcasting, all kinds of stuff like that. I didn't know if he would be on time or not, so but I just texted him. Turns out he's in the parking lot. It was good, but I couldn't finish my food and I had it. So Lloyd bought, Lloyd and Dee bought Jess an espresso. So early birthday gift. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I'm gonna try it. I don't want to be in the shop. <laughs> Check this shit out. Oh, the yappy dog went away. trip at Costco is complete. Got a bunch of goodies, man. Mostly meat. Sanitize. But that's a while. Yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah. Peace. Because the meats is a little, requires a little, oh my God, it requires a lot more strength. <laughs> We're headed down to Becca's now. Thank you. Salaka commented on my video. Should tell her, Breeza, be nice in your comments. Don't be no smart ass. Oh, here comes Jess. Oh, that time is coming. Oh, what the fuck? It's time. And just carry. Should get some clippers. It take a while. <laughs> Dead. Get out of the way, Jess. There <laughs> you go. How is it? That's it. That's what everybody says. There's a little points where it feels like. Right. Some points are gonna hurt a little. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. Don't do that. It's. <laughs> It's up. It's the halfway mark. How do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> it hurts, but not like I would have expected. Yeah. It's actually way more tolerable. Yeah. You know, I've always loved tattoos and I think some people have amazing tattoos, but I've never just seen myself as a guy to get one. I'm one of those people when I look at things, I'm like, how would I look with that? How would I look with that? And I always come to the end result, which is I'd probably look stupid. It was weird that it just like hit me like, oh, cool. I want to get a tattoo. It was just instantly like that. And then I called Jess 
So do you think your sister would be willing to do it? Her sister was down, super interested. And then she came up with this cool piece. Uh, we came up with a word. She put together a great tattoo. So I'm incredibly happy. And she told me even before, she's like, make sure that if you're going to get it, you want it. And it's something that when you look down at your arm, you're not going to completely hate. And I don't ever look down at this in the day and a half that I've had it and think, oh, fuck, I made a mistake. That is how my mind has always worked. That's how my mind will forever work. When I decide definitively that I want something, I go for it. Even in this case where I was super scared because I just assumed it was going to be the most painful process ever, I still went through with it. Which one should I drink? I know what that is. Whatever. I have no idea, so I'll try it. Uh, I guess you gotta add some milk. That's not a lot of coffee. Yeah, I don't think I know how to use this. I'm gonna stick with peppermint tea because I clearly didn't make that properly because that tasted awful. Reliable. So I finally got a shirt on. I was gonna make a tea without a shirt. Never a good idea. Come on guys, you should know this by now. So the vlog, you should know this by now. That is going to be incredibly hot. Uh, apparently. Oh, okay. Dishwashers. It's just steaming. Oh, it smells so good. Ugh. through the garden. Oh, mom, look, all kinds of bushes for you. This one's like eight bucks. These are on clearance. $40. Oh, no, $14 from 40 bucks. Yeah, but they still have them. Are you going to get one? Because <laughs> what I initially wanted was another one for the other coffee table so I can bring my plant, my big plant down. Hello? Man, oh. the Home Depot sign? I did. Man, oh man, like I was looking for work gloves and I could very easily go to the dollar store and pay like three, four bucks and get a decent pair. But they always, like the grooves on the hand always end up wearing out to the point where the gloves actually physically like rip. So I always come to Home Depot now, but man, they jacked the prices up on those. The Milwaukee gloves were like $36 for one pair. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the process. That was me getting my very first tattoo. And a huge thank you and a huge shout out to Rebecca who put together this piece for me, exclusively for me. Nobody else has this and she did a great job. Give her a big thank you, huge shout out to her.